You're watching Carolina and Company Live. Your source for fun, entertainment, and events. With your host, Cecil Chandler and Amanda Sellers. If it's happening in the area, it's on Carolina and Company Live. Hey everybody, happy Friday. Welcome to Carolina and Company Live. It's Friday, Cecil's favorite day of the My week. My favorite day of the week. Woo! I tell you, it is unbelievable. We've got a great weekend lined up. Hope all of you have a great weekend lined up. That's and we right. got a good show lined up today. We do. A lot of fun things to talk about. A garage sale. South Carolina's largest, and I can't, I'm, I think yeah, I'm going to go. I'm pretty good. And there's a highway patrolman here who was out there looking at my trunk. Oh. Did you see him? You better hope you stay on air for well, a while. I hope you didn't find hmm. anything in my Watch trunk. Out. I'll tell you. <laughs> all right. That's right. We've got a great show lined up for you guys, and hopefully a nice weekend coming up. We're going to find out about the weather. Good Friday afternoon to you. I want to go ahead and show you these rainfall totals from our Thursday. So yesterday, because this is what happens when we have scattered showers and storms. So basically feast or famine. Go ahead and check out the rainfall in Carolina Forest nearing three inches. But if you go to the other side, Surfside Beach, Merle's Inlet, Pauley's Island, all saw below a quarter of an inch and some areas along the border belt near Lumberton did not see anything. So that's exactly what we're looking at for your Friday afternoon going into Saturday afternoon as well. As far as right now goes though, live Doppler 15,000 not showing anything going on precipitation wise across the viewing area. But as we proceed into the afternoon hours going into the evening hours, that is likely to change. Though we're not seeing anything right now, we will. Friday, Saturday and Sunday, hot, humid and scattered showers. We do have a stalled front that's just to the north of us through the Carolinas and to upstate South Carolina. So this still is close enough that we will be seeing these scattered showers showers and storms. Luckily, there are two sides to this system. Once that cold front passes us, a little less heat and lower humidity, what we've all been waiting for. And when I do say less heat, it's still going to be in the upper 80s. We are in the south, but the lower humidity, that's the good news. Turning pages a little bit, we are continuing to keep our eye on the tropics. Tropical storm Fiona is still out in the Atlantic. I will go ahead and talk about that storm in one second. National Hurricane Center is monitoring these two waves off the coast of Africa now. One one has a 50% chance for development and then the one closest to land off of Africa has a 30% chance to, of development and this is in the next five days. Still very far away, but we will continue to monitor that as we are tropical storm Fiona. As Fiona continues its westward track, it turns much and it weakens as it combines with the wind shear in the upper layers, which kind of just tears it apart along with getting wrapped up in some dry Saharan air. So luckily this has it forecasting into a tropical depression in the next 24 hours. Your inland afternoon forecast, partly sunny and hot. We are going to, going to continue that risk for scattered showers and storms. Temperatures in the low are in the upper 80s to low 90s. Same goes for the Grand Strand afternoon forecast. Partly sunny, scattered showers and storms with temperatures in the upper 80s. Your seven day Grand Strand forecast. Over the next couple of days, we will be seeing scattered showers and storms with temperatures in the upper 80s. Your inland seven day forecast 91 over the next couple of days. We just need to get through the weekend and then come Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, we will be decreasing the heat, the humidity, and the rain chances. Weather is brought to you by A&I Fire and Water Restoration. Hey guys, welcome back to Carolina and Company Live. All right, tomorrow we're heading to Bucksport Marina for a cruise in. We're normally out there for the boats, but yeah. this time it's for cars. Cecil? That's right. We got a big cruise in coming up. It's free and open to the public. And, uh, you know, you leave out of Conway down 701. It's just outside of Conway, about 10 miles. And there'll be five trophies handed out. And the rock and roll show starts at 11 and runs until 2 p.m. There'll be lots of giveaways for the people taking part in bringing their classic cars. Or we take any model car that you want to come out. It's free to you and it's free to the public, too. That's so we'll right. hope to see you there. That's right. Tomorrow, and Westport Marine is a pretty cool place a, anyway. Hey, and the new chef down there. That food was unbelievable. The, it was fantastic. Woo! That's what you're eating tomorrow, right? Yeah, that's why I'm eating. You <laughs> <laughs> that way. All right, I want to talk about a little bit of things where I get all of my clothes and this new vest I have on, a black vest. It came from Butler's right over there in Florence. That's where I get everything. And the summer wear, they still have it going on. And uh, if you're looking for flip-flops, a uh, huge selection of all kinds of shorts, swimwear, they've got them. And uh, your back-to-school specials, boy, they've been rolling them out. And don't forget the selection of Peter Millar shirts and Southern Tide shirts. 
New sport coats are coming in daily, and they'll be coming in with the fall clothing line coming in soon. And they got some sales on some seersucker suits. <laughs> so if you want to get one of those, you do it. And they got bow ties and ties up to a thousand of them. You want to look good, you got to go to Butler's in Florence right next door to Goosey Gander. That's right. You always yeah. look so nice. Now, thank you. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> thank you. I'm sorry. <laughs> now, okay, so back to school. It's been back to school week. And I know yeah. I sent my kids back to school. Yeah. We've been talking about that. Your grandkids right. went back. Yeah. So we thought we'd show you a little bit of the fun we've been having for yeah. back to school. Yeah, let's see what All right, let's see. Who have we got up first? Oh, Those your kids. are mine. That's Reed and Dawson. They are four and a half and one and a half, and they are super excited about school. All right. I know. Right. Pumped. Now, there we go. That's, oh, this is you. That's me. Look at that. That's my preschool picture. They had color pictures back then. They I'm not as old as you, honey. <laughs> <laughs> that is me, yes. A preschool picture, I guess, but yeah. everybody says I look just the same. Yeah, you do. Kind of. Okay, all yeah, right. Let's see what we got sweet. next. There's no telling. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We came uh -oh. back out. What are uh -oh. you doing back there, Brandon? What's I thought he doing? we had a picture of me. Oh, no, there's okay. my grandkids. There's Vera Gray. She's nine. And there's Tucker Wayne on the left. And he's seven years old. And the grandkids are back to school and uh, having a good time. There all is right. no telling what's coming up next. No, it is I'm not. worried. I sent him a picture, but there's no telling hey. what he did with it. That's me in the middle. <laughs> back in the third or fourth grade. Bill Fleming on the left. And Al Al uh, let's see, Alinda Fleming is on the right. That was a, a big picture, and that was a long time ago. Look at that. Yeah, still had nice hair. Kind of looks like Tucker. Yeah. No, I'm I serious. It. I know it. it wow. Does. I'm surprised. Right. Hmm. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> we've got a great show lined up for you guys today. And, oh, the oh, birthdays. Happy birthdays, yeah. See, he birthdays. messed us all up with our, right, our we throwback, right? We forgot what was right? going on. A day, so, August 19th, and this is Black Cow Root Beer Float Day. I've never had one. I have. Have you? And mm. it's also... That's right. It's also National Aviation Day. So take a flight. All right. Birthdays today, 1963. John Stamones, he, this guy's 53 years old on TV's ABC's Full House. He was on ER in 2006 to 2009. And he was also in four episodes of Glee. Uncle there he Je is. All the Uncle gals Jesse. love him. That's right. That's right. <laughs> 1969, Matthew Perry is 47 years old. TV sitcom Friends, such a good show. Yes. Also, The Odd Couple and movies include Fool's Russian and The Whole Nine Yards. All right, 1970, Fat Joe. I'm not just calling him Fat. That's his real name. I mean, not his real name, but that's his name he uses. He's 46 years old. He's a rapper. His real name is Joseph Antoine Cardinia. Okay. Ooh. Yeah, that's his real Ooh. name. Songs 2004 called Lean Back. Can you do it? Do you know how to do it? I don't know how to do it. I even know what it do is. It. Lean, back. lean Back. That's a Lean Back. Lean that's back. the name of the song? Yeah. You know the song? Do it. Try it. Let's see lean it. Lean Back. <laughs> lean Back. <laughs> I got it. I was, I was oh leaning back. Oh, my goodness. All right. <laughs> All right. Today in history, 1967, the Beatles, All You Need Is Love, single goes to number one. And in 1984, Lee Trevino wins the PGA. All right. Everybody ready for the know-it-all department? Oh, boy. This is where you learn every day. We lo she loves the dumb state laws, all right? <laughs> We're going back to the dumb state laws. This is in Little Rock, Arkansas. Now, they really love birds. Listen to this. All cats must wear bells to warn birds of their whereabouts. This is no joke. You got a cat running around the house, he's got he's got to have at least three, three bells. Three bells. Where the birds will hear him coming and they can get away. That's yeah. Mm. So in Arkansas, Whatever. they really love the birds. I all guess right. so. That's for the know it all department today on a Friday. We got a great show lined up, a lot of fun stuff. That highway patrolman's still looking in my car. Uh -oh. All right, we'll find out in a minute what's going on. We'll see what he wants. See you in a second. Hey everybody, welcome back. All right, so the school kids are back in school and we always want to talk about safety rules with motorists, especially buses. And so we're going to find out a lot about that right now. You better believe it. a lot of people riding down the road. Sometimes they'll stop and sometimes they won't because I really do not think a lot of motorists know when you're supposed to stop for a school bus. That's right. That's right. Corporal Sonny Huggins is with us. I mean, Sonny Huggins. I said it again. <laughs> good, friend of mine, good friend of ours. Sonny Collins is with us. And, uh, and Sonny, let's talk about school bus safety. Yeah, you know, we were doing school bus safety just the other morning at Carolina Forest with yeah. Crystal, and we saw people not doing the law the correct way. Huh. So it, it's very simple. Uh, on a two-lane road, when the school bus turns the red lights on, the stop sign comes out, you have to stop. Everywhere you are, you must stop. Right. But okay. if you're on a four-lane road, just like that diagram shows, if you're on a four-lane road, you can keep on going. It doesn't matter what that road's divided if by. If you're in the opposite lane, opposite, lane, opposite right, direction, yeah. yeah, you keep on going. But behind the bus, no matter where you are, what type of roadway, you're always stopping. But we saw people the other morning decide that they could go. They were stopping, which caused other motors to stop because, hey, if one stops, we right. better all stop. And uh, now we had a big issue out there. So uh, 
you can keep on going if you're on the other side of a four-lane road meeting that school bus. Well, I saw them do it on 544 going home the other day. Right. School bus, and what did they do on the other lane? It's four-lane highway. You know that. Oh, yeah. And this guy in front of me stops. Yeah. And I just and I had to whip it over real quick to get in the other lane. I think we're so uh, mindset when those red lights come on, we got to stop. We right. Didn't. But, yeah. um, you know, this helps traffic keep moving on the other side. There's, they're not going to allow the children to cross over. So if you're meeting the bus, four-lane road only, you can keep on traveling. All right. Well, like that uh, sounds pretty simplistic, but it's something people don't know, and I'm glad to, you know to inform yeah. people yeah, of it. And then we need them to do the right thing because if Correct. you stop and you don't need to stop, we can have an a accident. collision right at a school bus. Yeah. Yes. Now they got uh, they've got uh, cameras on the buses, so if they somebody do. flies by, they get whatever. Yes, You're going to get caught. I'm serious. <laughs> so you better listen Absolutely. and learn which way to go when you're doing it. Anything else going on for school right now and safety stuff? Just want to make sure you're watching these bus stops. Children are out early in the morning before the sun even comes up, standing right on the side of the road. So when you're traveling in, watch out for those kids because, you know, they're worried about each other. They're not worried about that traffic going That's by. Right. Absolutely. So uh, let's watch out for them. Uh, just another reason to, you know, really pay attention and put your phone down. Right. Absolutely. So yeah. keeps yeah, up sure. with all that stuff. Takes. Appreciate it, buddy. Yes, sir. My pleasure. Yeah. We didn't, all right. didn't find anything in my car. We found some stuff. We'll talk about it. Later. Oh, gosh. Oh, <laughs> I'm going to jail. I might not be here I'll next I'll be up next <laughs> Next interview. Just my, me. My producer bye -bye. said, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right. We'll be back. Y'all stay tuned. <laughs>
We feed over 3,000 children every week by sending food home in their lunch sacks or their backpacks. We send a little sack of food for their backpacks. Teacher discreetly puts it into the backpack and they have something to eat on the weekend. That just blows yeah. my mind, that many kids. Yeah, if it wasn't for that, they, some of them wouldn't get anything to eat. You woke up this morning and you probably had breakfast. Yeah. yeah. Some of these kids, that's not the case. And it's just Horry County. Over 3,000 kids wow. in Horry County. Wow. All right, Margaret. Now the third annual Gorilla Cup's coming up now. Tell, tell us what that is exactly, what they're doing out there. You want to tell her? You going to point to her? All right, mm -hmm. she said We're you. Live television. She, she's, okay. She is, she's the okay. expert on that. <laughs> okay, okay. All right, tell me about third it. Third annual Gorilla's Cup. It is hot picking, finger licking. It is <laughs> absolutely delicious. You would never think that this many different types of pork butts would be flavored differently prepared differently, whether it's, you know, a mustardy sauce, a tangy barbecue, delicious. Wings is the first day, Friday. Yep. That's the 30th, right. 4 o'clock. Then we do the pork butts on Saturday, 10.30. Mm. And right. what we talked about earlier is it is a competition, but it's also free to the public yes. to come out, enjoy Lakewood yes. Campground, and yep. eat some great barbecue. We want everyone to know that it's free admission, and it's an opportunity to go into Seed Lakewood because yeah. it's a fabulous place to take your kids. Well, they built a new water slide. It's they did. <laughs> yeah. But if you want to taste, of course, you've got to you know you know pay a little something mm -hmm. to taste. A dollar a ticket. Yeah. yeah. But you, I mean, that's the that's the cool thing about it, and twenty five hundred dollars for first place. Yes. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Isn't that amazing? And then yeah. also what we're going to yeah. have is a silent auction that day. Okay. You got a silent weekend. auction, a lot of good stuff? Beautiful silent auction. We're going to have local restaurants. We're going to have golf packages, uh, some of your fast food restaurants. We have tickets to Disney World. Whoa. We're going to have some fabulous prizes. So come out even for the silent auction because it's going to be wonderful. Absolutely okay. wonderful. Yeah. So Again, all proceeds go to Help for Kids, yeah. Backpack Buddies. And right. so to get signed up if they want to compete, what do they need to do? If they want to compete, have them send an email yes. to info at helpforkidssc.org. Okay. And all they need to do is let us know what they want, and we'll send them the forms okay. and get them signed up. All right, awesome. thanks, girls. We appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you to see you guys there. Yeah. We'll do our best. I want to go down the slide. Yeah. All right, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all stay tuned. We'll be right back. And welcome back to Carolina and Company Live. All right, right now, for the last 28 years, Myrtle Beach has been putting on South Carolina's largest garage sale. That's Everybody right. loves a garage sale, and they're going to have everything in the world. That's right, and it's over at the convention center in Myrtle Beach, and it's been there for eight years. We're going to talk to Tiffany all about it. Tiffany, how you doing? I'm doing great. How are you all? Fantastic. Okay, tell us about the yard sale. Yeah. The yard sale, we have over 275 vendors this year. Oh, and, 275? Oh, yes. So one or two things need to happen. The building either needs to expand or okay. I don't know. What now? No, there's no other alternative. Okay, so Nothing we need, to, we need more it. vendor. We need more space. You need more space. Yes, because there's a wait list every Is year. There? There's a wait list. And actually this year we sold out by 1230 of the first day of going live for vendors. No Whoa. way. Okay, yeah. so what kind of stuff can I find? I'm sure everything. <laughs> okay, when I say everything, everything, exercise equipment, housewares, pots and pans, clothing, um, even kids' clothing, that goes really, really, really quick. For the, any of those music enthusiasts, like the old LPs, those sell out quick, very, very fast. Oh, really? that's good. Huh. Well, hey, do you, I'm just wondering, do you ever have any cars? Uh, we have seen cars, we have seen <laughs> golf carts, we've seen boats, anything really? you can think of, fishing. It will like, be there. It will be there. It will be there. Wow. So Things for your man cave. It will oh, be there. You? <laughs> oh, that's a great place to go to pick up on all this stuff. Yeah. Like, what's, what's your favorite sports team? My, my okay. favorite team, New York see, Yankees. Okay. You see Yankees stuff there. What about college? Are you, are you, can you say? I'm not a college guy. All right. You didn't want to get I'm a Yankee guy. We'll That's go, right. We'll go I'll with be. the Georgia Bulldogs. I'm a Carolina. Okay. I'm That's a Carolina because right. my son graduated. Okay. And I'm okay. from the Carolina. Yeah. So there will be some Tar Heel stuff there. I'm sure. Uh, okay. There's yeah. always all types of things. Well, so he went to North Carolina and got his master's degree in South Carolina. He got his uh, other. Uh, so you're Carolina both, right? Carolina both. Right? You yeah. How about that? I love it. What time does it start? Starts at 7 a.m. Ends at 2 p.m. Now, the cool thing is, make sure we want to make sure everyone knows that um, don't worry about like your breakfast in the morning or your lunch. Our concession stands are going to be open for breakfast and lunch. And if you get there early in the morning, everyone loves hot donuts now from Krispy Kreme. Ooh, so whoa. just, yeah, I'm going to have a whole box. A whole Man. box? A whole this, box. This event's probably going to be pa <laughs> packed out for sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Our number typically averages between 7,500 to 8,000 people. And the admission is free, but it's going to cost you to park five bucks a car. But that's it. Every, anytime yeah. you come to the convention yeah. center, yes. you have, it's going to cost. It's going to cost to park, but admission is free. Yeah. I know it, but wow. that's pretty good. So it starts at 7 a.m. You want to get there early, get some donuts? Exactly. Now, this I want people to know that we have folks come from everywhere to be vendors. We had vendors this year 
from Virginia, Kentucky, what? Maryland, Kansas, and our vendor rates, um, it, we renewed like at a 64% rate. So basically, wow. those folks that were there last year, so if you remember your favorite person from last year, They'll they're going to most again. likely be there again this year. Wow. Tiffany, Incredible. that's amazing. Thank you so much for being on the show. We're excited. We, Thank you. we want everyone to come out Ooh, and have a good yes. time. Check You'll it see out. You'll see what I can find, this right? This Saturday, yes. the 20th. Yeah, everything's going on this weekend. All right, stay with us. We'll be right back. Hey guys, welcome back. We'll see we'll you see later. We'll see you Monday. That's Have right. a great weekend, Have everybody. Have a good weekend.